everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Johnson, and this is my beauty channel where I share all my beauty secrets with you. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it now and don't miss out on any of my new beauty videos. All right, so today we're talking about five tips on how to travel and have clear, hydrated skin. This is basically my travel kit on what I do and my tips for arriving looking beautiful, plump, fresh, and not like you just basically spent six hours on a flight. So my first tip is to hydrate your skin the night before. So you're gonna wanna really put in moisture so when you awake, when you wake up and you go, get on the plane, you already have a really great foundation. So I use a serum first, I will cleanse my skin, do my normal skincare routine, and then I use the Ever Overnight Facial. It's a cellular renewal oil. So this is going to really hydrate and moisturize my skin. And I also just don't do my face, I do my face, my neck, and my decollete. So that's really important. So you wanna hydrate everything, get everything really, really plump, and this has Bavarian rose in it, so it's like a spa treatment for me. I love rose, so this is another reason why I love using the product. Also, it doesn't have any glycols, parabens, fragrance, so that's another reason I feel really good using it. I'm not putting on chemicals into my skin and a lot of fillers, so that's another reason why I do like using this product. And then over it, I will use the Moisture Injection Cream from Ever. This is a nice, rich night cream. They do have a formulation that's oil-free, but I love the night cream when my skin feels dehydrated or I'm prepping it for a flight. So this is a really great product to use. The duo together really is gonna plump your skin. My second tip is don't forget your lips. So I have two products that I use consistently and there's two different purposes really for them. I use Lano Lips for my lips. I want them to be smooth, hydrated. I really feel like my lips get so parched on a flight. And I have the Grande Lips. This is a lip plumper, hydrator, and moisturizer. So when I'm on a flight, I tend to want to use something that I don't have to put my finger on and put it onto my lips. I want something more sterile, so I'll use the Grande Lips and I'll use it throughout the day. I can use it over uh, lipstick and what have you. So this is cumulative. The Grande Lips is going to really hydrate and plump your lips over time. The Lano Lips is great because I can use it also for my cuticles and also for my elbows, but I don't like the fact that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't take it and put it on my lips after I'm on like around the plain, even though I'm like putting alcohol and sanitizer on my hands, I just am a freak about germs. So I would use this more for my cuticles and almost dry areas that are not on my, my face. But these are two really great hydrators that are always totally packed, ready to go for my flight. My third tip is try not to wear a lot of makeup because you can't do all these steps if you have a lot of makeup on your face. It's going to dehydrate your skin. You can't really pump and fill your skin with all these great products when you're when you're flying if you have all this makeup on. So I know it's really hard. I know you're probably like, Nicole, seriously, like I would never step foot on a plane without makeup. Well, what I do is I will wear mascara, I wear big glasses, and if I have to, I'll wear tinted moisturizer. But for the most part, I'm really trying to keep my skin really clean and really fresh so I can keep adding in moisture throughout the flight. So what's really a great way to do that, and you can do this every 20, 30 minutes, is the Beauty Elixir. You wanna do a facial mist. So this is a beautiful product from Caudalie. I've been wanting to buy it forever, so I did buy it. You can take this with you because it's 3.4 full ounces. And then recently I bought the Jerlique. This is a lavender hydrating mist. Again, 3.3 full ounces. You can take this with you also. So this is nice at night. When I get to my hotel room, I have this lavender kind of just hydration. I can relax. It's really, really beautiful. And also the Beauty Elixir comes in a travel size. So it just depends on what your bag looks like, but these are really wonderful. And you can keep spritzing. You can put on a moisturizer and spritz all of your face. They're just always wonderful to use, whether you're flying or if you're just every day on the go. Tip number four, what exactly should you be putting in your beauty carry-on? Okay, so here we go. So I have makeup wipes, which are always good to have. You never know when you're gonna need them or if you have like mascara that got down on underneath your eyes and you're traveling and you happen to not be wearing waterproof. This is alcohol-free, so you're gonna wanna use a makeup pad that's alcohol-free, don't wanna dehydrate the skin anymore. You're going to want to have your lip balms that we talked about for hydration also for your cuticles. I have a hand cream here from Erin Lauder. This is, of course, Rose. This is the uh, Rose Hand and Body Cream. Wonderful, it's a deluxe travel size that I got with the perfume. 
I love having the Detox Dry Bar Dry Shampoo. This is so great to spruce up your hair. You get any oils that have basically accumulated while traveling. It really refreshes. This scent is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like it just kind of refreshes getting off the plane and feeling a little like dingy from that plane. So the intensive eye lift, I always have an eye product in my bag because I always want to really hydrate the delicate eye area. I definitely see that getting crepey and getting and looking, making me look really tired or if there's any puffiness. This is from um, the Everline. Again, this is Revive and it's a, like a hydro gel. So it's gonna really just suck right in that moisture. It's not a cream, it's not oily. So you're gonna see deep puffing and you're gonna see hydration with this product. So those are basically just the staple products that are in my little beauty travel kit. And then my fifth tip for you is really, I definitely think it's a necessity. I have eye gel patches and I have two different ones. I have one from Patchology, they're the flash patches. They're almost invisible. So when you put them on, you can't see them. So put them on and put your sunglasses on and no one's gonna know you're hydrating your eye area. So this is really important. It feels so cooling and so nice. These come 30 in a pack and they're $50. And then I've been recently trying out the Elemis Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask. Lots of hydration. I love this product too. It's very thin, you don't see them. They're like almost invisible, but this is also nice if you're taking a bath when you get to your hotel room and you really just want to you know hydrate sheet masks are also good but some people feel a little uncomfortable putting a sheet mask on if they're on a flight where people aren't sleeping or it's not a red eye so you could always add in a sheet mask to this whole little regimen it just it just depends on how comfortable you feel and how like if you feel uncomfortable then I suggest just doing the iPads. But if you don't, I say definitely rock the sheet mask. So I hope you enjoy your holiday, your New Year's, and I hope you arrive hydrated, looking beautiful with these simple five easy steps. I'll see you on my next video.